hey welcome back in this video we are going to add new video to this api authentication playlist uh, so in this playlist we have first created api authentication using password then we have done same thing for login register and for resetting password using api so one part remaining is to verify the user email using api so laravel comes with this email uh, verification out of the box but unfortunately this only works for web routes so for api routes we need to make a bit change and so we'll see that in this video so let's get started so by the way i have cloned this repository so up to this point for these three videos we have uh, created this repository and pushed some commit here so i have cloned that repository here so if you go to app http controller auth so here you'll see this verification controller so this already comes with this code so what we'll do is we'll copy this and create new copy of this verification controller into our api all right so here control shift s so yeah look like i've already copied so i'll show you that okay so we have copied this verification controller and now next step is to define two routes that we require for email verification let's go to api.php so these are uh, we created in previous episodes for login register and for resetting password we have done these two so we also need two route for email verification one to send email for verification that will contain the verification link and another route um, will be responsible for verifying that email so from the email link that route will verify whether that email link is valid well, and if that is so then it will verify the email of the user all right so here first route is to send the email verification email which will point to verification control resend and another route will be like so so it will be verify and it will contain the user id and this will be the hash key which will be used to verify if link is valid or not and it will point to this verify method so these two methods and this route already comes out of the box but we have uh, put this on api.php instead of web.php so in web.php you can enable these two route by simply doing verify true i guess yeah like so so verify true then it will automatically register that on web.php but for api we need to manually create them in uh, api.php and instead of that default verification controller we have pointed to our newly created controller where we can modify whatever we want all right so you name uh, you need to name these exactly like this verification recent and verification dot verify okay so with the uh, route set let's go to our api verification controller so in default verification controller you won't see verification controller okay you'll see just like this no uh, these route like these methods so you, you cannot see this uh, recent and verify method on that because that is inside this uh, this street verifies email so if you go there you'll uh, see the show method verify method and recent method all right so these are all uh, made for web route so you can see redirect here but in api we need a json response instead of re redirect so we cannot change anything here so this is inside uh, vendor directory and it is not good idea it won't take effect whenever you do composer update it will reset so yeah so to make our custom changes to these methods what we need to do is we just need to copy this these two method verify and send we just need these two method and we need to copy this into 
our API verification controller that we just created. So here, yeah, here we need to paste that. So I've already made some changes like, so if user is already verified, instead of redirecting, I put this response, JSON response, and all other code is same as it is. And one more thing here, if I request one JSON, then we will send the JSON response. Similarly for verify, uh, everything else will be same. And some JSON response. And I have uh, logged in user with the ID that we get from route. And yeah, so. So we are protecting this uh, recent route from uh, using auth API. So in your default verification controller, you can see it is only auth. So everything else will be same. Uh, we don't need auth route, we need auth API route. That's why we have done that, auth API. So we have only protected, uh, protected recent route. Uh, recent route is responsible for sending email. We haven't protected this route because, so we are using Laravel password. Uh, in that case, we uh, we are unable to pass the token from URL. So we don't need this authentication for this verify because this verify, um, this verify method, here we are applying this uh, signed middleware, right? So we're applying signed middleware. It will check for uh, if uh, URL is correct or not. Uh, so we don't need authentication. A URL cannot be changed by user manually and we will be sending it to email. So user, the user who have email address can only access their account and access to the link that we send from our application. So that's why, uh, so this throttling middleware will only uh, make, uh, give ability to user that they will only make six requests for, uh, in one minute. So they cannot uh, misuse our endpoint like they do constantly verify, 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 and it will just uh, consume our resources. So we are protecting that as well. Uh, we don't need this. Okay. So these two only apply to these two methods here, verify and descent. All right, so with that said, let's see this in action. So we have, um, yeah, we don't have front end for now. We will do use Postman to make request. Okay, so let's first register with some username like John, John, password with these. So by the way, uh, one more thing I just forgot. Okay, so in your uh, app user model, you need to implement this must verify email trait and then only you can send email. It will send the verification email to the user and verify also. Okay, so with that said, let's go to our register endpoint and register new user. So new user will be John and let's send the request. Okay, so it is verified and we got access token. So now let's grab this access token and let's make uh, the request to this endpoint that we created in api.php for sending the email. So email.resend. So this email.resend uh, endpoint is protected by uh, API auth middleware. So that's why we need to pass this authorization header and authorization header with peer token Okay, so bearer token and authorization this accept header application JSON to only accept the JSON response. Okay, so now let's send request. Yeah, so email is sent. So you can configure your email credential in your env file. So I'm using SMTP with this uh, mail trap configuration. You can you can just do log or any other SMTP that service that you use provided by your web server in local you can just use mail trap so here is mail trap and you can just put these credentials into your .env file and here we go verify email address email that we just get so please click your email address to verify so it give us this endpoint that we 
if you specify here this one so now if we click on this um, button verify email then it will take us to that route and execute the further verification process so let's go ahead and do that yeah so successfully verified all right so at this point you can just return response or you can just redirect user to your uh, front-end application or whatever you want so let's go to database and or or let's create one endpoint and that only verified user can access all right so here we need to apply verified route as well as auth api route so that uh, it will just first authorize the user and then check whether it is verified or not so currently we are just time dumping you are verified and then user's name so let's go and let's try to access this route verified only using the token of this user which is not verified so this this user which is not verified null and we are using the token of this user over here yeah your email address is not verified and let's use the john's token you can get that by logging with john let's go and john at gmail.com password will be password and yeah, there we go so you can see here john is verified it got this timestamp and if we try to log in with this user sorry try to access with this user we should be bearer token and let's send the request preview yeah so you are verified john all right so yeah so our verification part is working so let me know if, how you find this video if you find it helpful please like subscribe and get in touch with me in comment section so i'll see you in next video bye